2017 and the world has changed. The psychology of the real estate market is constantly evolving and new analytical tools are required to understand it. In a volatile, uncertain world, we can build models and create scenarios to predict the market, but those cannot account for everything that drives performance. Sentiment drives the property market, and it's important that the impact of this is understood and somehow quantified. Forecasting needs to change to reflect this changing world. This has led BNP Paribas Real Estate and Ipsos Mori to partner together to launch Psychology, a new study, the first of its kind. For the first time, historic real estate data and the psychology of the market and those involved in it are fused with analytics. Psychology measures historic data and layered with traditional forecasting alongside unprecedented access to the sentiment of real estate leaders offers a unique and unparalleled insight into what lies ahead in the UK property market. BNP Paribas Real Estate plus Ipsos Mori plus history plus traditional forecast modelling plus the sentiment of 29 senior real estate leaders equals a new game-changing way to forecast. But before we do the grand unveil, let's paint the picture. In a rapidly changing world, uncertainty is certain, the new normal. Investors did not see 2008 coming and still feel the repercussions. They've changed their behavior. Investors are pricing in future shocks and risk insulating and diversifying portfolios as a defense mechanism rather than to simply chase returns. They've moved from a lack of regulation to greater regulation or even self-regulation. Investors think they are now more risk averse, but is this really the case? Pricing, supply and demand are still critical, but there are new fundamentals. Politics, currency, capital flows, technology, demographics and globalisation. As we look at the cycles of the past, which are roughly seven years long, we have plenty of peaks and troughs as we zoom past the 80s, through the 90s and into the 2008 shock. So we arrive at today. Here is where it gets really interesting. Cycles plus data, plus forecasts, plus sentiment, plus 18 investor predictions. Now look at this. This is our real estate market in the future. This shows future cycles will be different. Are they forever changed? Will we ever experience such levels of volatility again? Or has risk management and regulation tempered volatility, but also returns? A correction was already expected prior to the referendum result. But even post-Brexit and Trump, our real estate leaders are not scared about the future for London. It stands out as a beacon of resilience in this changing world. Is it indeed the safest city able to withstand the global shocks? That's what our interviewees have said. We shall see. But what about investors and occupiers? Do they see the world the same? As an investor, I'm suspicious of change, millennials and technology. Given the current environment, I'm risk averse and looking for long-term income and stability. As an occupier, I'm embracing change and millennials and technology and the global marketplace. I'm looking for short-term commitment and flexibility. So where does that leave us? Investors on one side and occupiers on the other. Who will make the first move? Who will blink first? As the real estate advisor for a changing world, working with both, we can bridge the gap. For more information, download the full report at realestateforachangingworld.co.uk. Thank you.